Thanks very much. I'm Art Fox. I'm the king. I'm the king. <laughs> I'm the king. And you are the queen. Well, thanks very much. Well, yeah, well, thanks, 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 thanks very I'm much. I'm the king, uh, and you are the queen. Hey, wait a minute. It's not that kind of shit. No, I'm the right. queen, and you're uh, the this, king. I'm Art Fox. No, I'm Gypsy Boots, and you're Art Fox. I'm Art Fox. Uh, that's Gypsy Boots. We're very mi mighty, mighty proud to have him on the show. Earlier, we had a roll-in from uh, the Hollywood Farmer's Market, not the one on Fairfax, but the one on Ivar, where you see Gypsy almost every Sunday. That's right. And that was playing with, uh, reluctantly, the Joy Band let him sit in. And with oh, their bongo that's playing, they're a real good band. They're out there every Sunday. That's right. They, they were quite good. Yeah. And you were quite good with them, actually. I didn't know you can keep such a mean beat. But you really. Well, you know, my son's all class of pianist. One plays a saxophone, one plays a flute, and my son... Uh, Alexander Bootson, I'll show you a picture. They, uh, he plays a concert pianist. Wow. And they got all talent. They all went to school and got A's and B's, and all I did was swing on trees and get bugs and fleas. Let's get, I'm going yeah. to follow your list in just a minute, follow. but I want to get your history first. Yeah. Okay. We know, well, I know you from the 50s and 60s on the Steve Absolutely. Allen show. Absolutely. You were always promoting health food and promoting good health. That's and right. now you're 88 years old, and you look pretty good, and you're feeling 88 good. 88 years young. 88 years young, grandfather of several. Um, when you at the very beginning, you were working with, not working. You you found yourself in the Hollywood Hills, That's living right. with Eden Abez and and the guy wrote there. Nature Boy. We, we run a little to Nature Boy. I know I've, I, this is yeah, a short I notice. Yeah, I lived with Eden Abbey. Passed away about a year ago. Got killed in an accident. So that was in the late forties. In the late forties. That's right. And were you living on nuts and berries in the Hollywood Hills? In the hills, in like the, a deer. Pay no bills. All I did was swing on my axis. Uh huh. And I had a good life. I was actually homeless once. Uh, same with my brother died, I sat in Gate Park, Griffith Park, Lodi Park, but here I am, I finally made it. So that Nature Boy thing uh, that was a big hit for Eden, well, it's a big hit for Ned King Cole, which we could, which we've, which was a big hit for Nate, uh, Eden, uh, written by Eden, your pal Eden Abbez. Eden Abbey, I live with Abbey. him. Yeah, when I first met him, I live with Eden Abbey. I, I was one of the Nature Boys. Before him, there was me, and before me, there was Jesus said, uh, during the 100 years ago, everybody had beards and long hair. Uh -huh. Look what I started, the uh -huh. whole health movement. Yeah. So from, uh, maybe from the uh, publicity that the song got, that got you more into the public eye, too. Well, no, before that I was to be, he did. But before that, I always, I used to go to Keys Rush Team, throw the football 50, 60 yards. And I, I, I don't know, I always, I always had my energy. I met Jack Elena. Him and Jack Lane, I did a show once, yeah. and uh, Jack Lane, in fact, I'll show you a picture later on of Jack Lane, and I said, you know, Jack, you're a great swimmer, you lift a lot of weights, you push a lot of boats, but you'll never push boots. I don't know <laughs> if that went over. So I know that you were, uh, you've been showing up at L.A. Lakers games. And yeah, the Lakers games. So this is a long tradition. This goes back to the 40s. Way you were back. Doing I'll be in the USC game when they play Purdue the 30th, yeah. and anywhere you see me with my cowbell and and ringing my deal and blowing the thing there. And <laughs> Engineer Dan, whoever was a camera in action, you're gonna see me, Gypsy Boots, doing my thing. Okay, well, you've, you're, you've got a long established Hollywood character, figure, um, person in, uh, who's been promoting uh, health food and per promoting uh, healthy lifestyle. Uh, okay. When did you first like meet and get on the Steve Allen show? Well, that's very interesting you asked me that. Uh, before Steve Allen show, let me go back with Spike Jones, oh, really? San Francisco. Yeah. He was doing a show called Insanity. Uh -huh. So I came down, it was wild those days, and I knocked at the door, and he come out, thin guy said, what, can you help you? I said, no, I can help you, Spike. Yeah. I said, I want to be in your show, Insanity. What can you do? I can lay on a bed of spikes, a sharp back. <laughs> and I actually laid on 500 sp spikes. Is that right? Yeah, and <laughs> then finally, and then, then Steve Allen's show, I was next to, right in Fairfax Avenue, right during the, uh, when he did oh, the Hollywood Ranch, Hollywood Ranch market. market. And I walked in there next to Don Sargent's sandal shop. And Steve Allen was sitting there looking for gooks for the Hollywood Ranch Market. <laughs> and I said, figure out, figure out, ha <laughs> ha! I threw figs in the air. <laughs> and he told the guy, 
Because the guy came in, lives in Goodwood Park, he got a lot of energy, he, he swings on a tree, eats a lot of fruit and nuts, bring him to my show. And I got on one show with Professor Corey, they said I made a hit, got tons of fan mail, and I did 15 shows with the... Oh, so this was all in the 60s when he was doing the, the Hollywood 60s. Ranch Market. That's right. That's on Vine Street. That's yeah, right. Yeah. In fact, but now things are going bigger and bigger, and then I did a movie with uh, Michael Douglas. There's the movie uh, uh -huh. on the game. Uh -huh. There's a shot of Michael Douglas. That's you and Michael. That's me uh -huh. and Michael. Uh -huh. And that opens up my career. A billion people saw me in the movie The Game. Uh -huh. And then, of course, and then at the Hollywood uh, Ranch Market every Sunday, the Hollywood Farmers Market. Hollywood Farmers Market. Market in Hollywood. Pompeii. I met people. I got offers for TV. And my son, uh -huh. Daniel Boots and Beth Boots, produced a movie called Life's Drawing. As soon as they sell that drawing, attention, the money guys, <laughs> they're making a movie of my life, and I'm going to have Steve Allen, Michael Douglas do walk on, and they're going to show you my whole unique, interesting life. I might add that you say Boots, and now your name is Boots. It's a shortening of what? B U T Z I M? No. B O T S. B a yeah. And you didn't ask me how I got the name of Gypsy Boots. I, you're right, I didn't. I asked you something else, but you can answer that question. Okay. Well, I was walking along years ago. At Fairfax Avenue, Don Sarger had a sandal shop. I walked in there with a bat. I was known as Boots then. Yeah. Figaro Boots, Tarzan Boots. Yeah. And uh, I said, uh, you need some fruit, Don. Yeah. He said, Boots, you need some sandals. Put my foot up there, looked at my dirty old feet with rocks on them. What have you been walking on? Rocks? Yeah, I just came down from Santa Monica Mountains yeah. on rocks. He said, how'd you get the name Boots? My mother danced like a gypsy in Russia. And I went hiking in the Santa Monica Mountains, the back of the ashram, and I wore boots. <laughs> Wait a while. Grabbed his guitar. He said, your mother danced like a gypsy, and you went hiking and you wore boots? Grabbed his guitar, and he wrote a song. When I was just a young boy, a story I was told about a magic gypsy whose boots were made of gold. Gypsy boots, gypsy <laughs> boots, where do you walk tonight? Then I walked in the Steve Allen show, and I got discovered, and now I'm the name Gypsy Boots, and of course today I am Gypsy Birkenstocks. Oh. And tomorrow, I'll probably be Gypsy Sandals, because Don Sarge will be at my birthday party, August 15th. The, the guy that named you will be there? He, him, well, he, I gave him the idea, we both yeah. named it. Wow. And I'm stuck with the name Gypsy Boots, and I expect Mike, I invited Magic Johnson there, uh -huh. And I uh, there'll be a lot of celebrities and people. And, um, and then, uh, would you like to look at some of the celebrities? I, I sure would life? like to look at some of these photos you brought right. of you and your... Uh, right. That is uh, during the set, on the set, me and Michael Douglas. Uh -huh. Next shot. Okay. All right. The next one is me and Bing Crosby and the Hollywood Parade. Wow. So you can tell I really <laughs> will be 88. Let's go way back. Wow. And that's one of the Keystone Cops. Next. Okay. That's right. Here I am in all the family. Oh, no there kidding. is my son, wow. Freddie Boots. Yeah. There's uh, the blonde gal. Yeah, the people from the Struthers. Yeah, Sally Struthers. Yeah, Shirley Struthers. Yeah. There's me and there's Freddie Boots and there's all in the family. Carol, Next. Yeah. All right, we're getting there. Ooh, there is Cloris Leachman uh -huh. with the Omega Juice Machine. Oh, juice And machine. I'm making her some juice and I live. In fact, naked juices will be at my party. Okay. All right, next. There I am with uh, one of my parties at the press party. There I am with... Jack Elaine dancing. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Holy smokes. Let's yeah, get into yeah. this one. Okay. There I am with the nature girls. <laughs> lifting rocks. I'll go like that. Lifting rocks with the nature girls. Looks like fun. Yeah. And there I am with Sally Struthers again. Oh, we had all in the family. There's the meat you head. haven't explained. You're with the all in the family cast. What were you doing? Well, you were on the show? I was a guest, no. Yeah. Sally Struthers said, I'm not going to do a show. You let Gypsy Boots on the show. Okay. Here I am in my son's wedding. Turned it up the other way around. Okay. There it is. Yeah. I know that Alexander Bootson. Uh huh. He's a he's a, he's the go be at the game. He's flying up. I mean, Sunday uh, the fifteenth. And he's my son. Mm -hmm. There I'm all dressed up in a suit. Yeah, it's unusual. And him, all right. he's a great concert pianist, and his wife is a great violinist. And there. How do you spell Bootson? Bootson, B O O T Z I N. Okay. Now here's I am. There I am, right there, with. The grandfather, there I am, the grandfather quarterback, and my little baby. The first baby died at, after three weeks, uh -huh. three days. His grandchild. Yeah. And the second one nearly died, and he'll be at the party flying up there. And he's pulling, my hero. He's and I always said, my goal 
Yeah, yeah, just knock the camera down. Okay. But anyhow, it's your heart out, Joe Montana. Uh, now we go back to the now we showed stuff. you Now, we showed you making that uh, carrot juice. Uh, what is your health food regimen? How did you uh, get to be what you are today? Well, my mother, when she peasant, when I, well, when I slept out in the open, the back of the Sonoma Machine Spectrum was a fig tree. I'm sorry, you, you, grew, you, you slept in the field out in the open when you were growing up in Sonoma? When I, my brother died, I was homeless in, in Golden Gate Park for a while. Yeah, so this but, is when you were growing up. But I still up. didn't look homeless. I always was happy. I looked like it was a million dollars because if you're happy and you love life, you got it made. Uh -huh. That's the guys that are dying. If you're breathing, you're rich. Yeah. And I'm breathing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And of all these actors I met, listen to me, and took Kyolic, which I'm going to give you, Odorless garlic. Uh huh. I'm Odorless give garlic, you huh? Garlic, kyolic. Mm -hmm. Here's some extra vitamin C for you. Uh huh. That's what I live in on. This is what you, well, you must eat food, too. And fruit and vegetables. And here's corn. I might be corny uh -huh. from Tapper Brothers Corn Stand. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look at that. I should just. Wait, that's one for you. You just eat it. You don't cook it. You just eat it raw. I eat it so, well, my party's donating four cases. Uh -huh. We'll steam it. But this is so delicious. Try a bite of it. Okay. Try a bite. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to. Yeah, go ahead. You, take well, you just uh, take it off the stock, right? Yeah, take it off the stock. Okay. And they're going to have cantaloupes. And then I got some. That's different. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah, Pamela cookies. Well, thanks very much. But we can do this after the show. Yeah, and Unless where's my book? Them. Where's your book? Good oh, ah. You get the title of my book? I'll get it. How to look oh, you got it. He got you there. They got you yeah, there. How to All look right. younger. The Gypsy and Me. Yeah, how to have more energy grown older. And you know, my book is going to be a book signing, three of them. Uh -huh. I just came from Borders and made a hit the other said I sold 100 books. Uh -huh. I'm going to be autographed with my book in a few weeks at Nature Mart, then at Fort Your Heart, Canoga Park, uh -huh. and give out free samples of Kyolic and give away stuff. Life is worth living while you are given. Uh -huh. How am I doing so far? You're doing great. Okay, a lot of energy. And then I'm going to be also at Healthy Discount in L.A., and I'll be peering all over. And, um, and you know, people ask me, why I do these birthday parties? Uh -huh. You know why? Why? Like, I want to spread health and happiness. Mm -hmm. And I have a dream one night that I'm going to run for president on a nature ticket okay, well, of the nature party. But we don't have that queued up. You just surprised me with that. Let's talk about that for a second and, and run forward to that thing um, that says Dr. Zhivago on it on the oh, rolling yeah. tape. Oh, I love When I hear that, I, I think of... Signal me when that's ready. I think of my son. Let what, me have the, the picture of my baby. Dr. Well, I'll get you back in the picture. But yeah. this, is a, this is a real inspiring story about the child pulling through. I got the, my son said, Daddy, you ever get serious? Yes. When I hear Dr. Zhivago, sometimes I feel like crying about that little Everett boots and went through. Uh -huh. He's a hero, uh -huh. and he never gave up like Gypsy Boots. And I want to thank everybody who helped me in a party, who, who helped me for in Paramount and everybody. And now, we'll, we, you know, we're going to have to talk about the party in the past tense. Right. We're going to get this rolled in in a second. Uh -huh. We're going to talk about the party as if it already happened. You, you, will have, you will have had a party on the Paramount lot. It might run, yes. this might run before it, but That's if, right. if it runs afterwards, it's going to be a big celebration of your life. It's your 88th birthday party. That's right. And it happens in 1998. Uh, you plan on having one every year, like the next 20, every year, of course, 10 every, or 20 years. Every 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 day is a party. Every day is a holiday. But I'm having another one. Maybe it looks like I have over 200 people who came already. Yeah. So next year I might have to go to the Coliseum. Okay. You know. All right. Well, let's talk about that plan for world peace and everything else, and your interest in running for office. We have that tape of you talking over Dr. Zhivago. Right. Let's listen to that a little bit. Take a look at that. And we'll come right back to it. But you, right. you're what you saw talking about in the in the truck that day. Can I be talking about this now, or you want? No, to we'll take a look. You'll be talking on the tape. I'm right. fighting for a peace on earth, and my friend Michael Douglas will be joining the UN and help to spread peace on this whole earth. Take all the inner cities, give them better food, get them jobs. Soon we won't have. No enemies. Then the prison dog will be sent for bombs and bullets will be sent for the poor people, the young kids. I have faith. I hear this song, I keeps reminding me of my old son Everett Boots and I'll turn it up. I 
dedicate this also to Lois Wilson, wonderful wife, friend, and her mother. Dedicate this to all of my millions of friends in this world. Michael Douglas and Kirk Douglas. Hey, great. Huh? Maybe get in the loud without me talking. <laughs> we got we got some of the raw footage in there too at the very end, but that was terrific, Midget. The serious side of you. Well, yes, and you know, I I just sent Michael Douglas a telegram. I said, Michael, you you're making really the right move. Mm -hmm. You're making a great move. And that that move is that move is he's going to join the UN. Really, it's going to work. He's going to devote, devote his life, get the whole media and the entertainment industry to really go for back. I said, Michael, what you're doing now. And what you're going to be doing is the best move you ever made. You're not only a handsome, got a great talent, people love you. You got great ideas, and what you're doing now, I did all my life. I've been in jail three times in the city for having long hair and a beard and talking about what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 And I, I think it's beautiful. In fact, Michael, later on, I want you to get me to be pre president. Ambassador. Of Ambassador fit, Fitness, yeah, uh, doctor, I mean, really. And I, you know what I do when I was a, a fit, fitness, what I really would do? I get these young kids, like I said before, take them up in the hills and trucks, thou shalt go and let them grow food. Look what Israel did in the desert. Mm -hmm. We got more people than food pretty soon. So, Michael, bless you. And you and Kirk Douglas, everybody asked me, he didn't come to my party, but uh, I know that he was there in spirit, but I know that Michael Douglas and, and Kirk Douglas, I met them all. I met them, they invited me to one of their private dinners and, and all I know, when I do the movie in my life, I met too many people who, who really helped me because they know what my motive is. I made big money on Steve Allen's show, I did commercials. I do it whether they got money or not because if, if you're a millionaire and you're sad, you, you're poor. And if you got not much money, just enough to get by and you're positive, like my friend Phil Daly uh, of the Pos Optimist Club of Camarillo, where I live, then you're going to go on and on and on. I have hope that love is going to conquer hate, good is going to be over bad, and the world is not coming to an end. We've got to go to the lowest to get to the highest. So we've been at the lowest. We're on our way up. Great. We're on our way up. Great. You know, there's a good story in, in, in oh, actually, in one of your books. Uh, you have that first book that was out years ago called Bare Feet and Good Things to Eat. Right. That's still circulating around. Your new one's called The Gypsy and Me. Uh, you talk about meeting your wife, Lois. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you how I met Lois. I was down in San Francisco where I was born 88 years ago. And I went in the gym. Eight, what, eight years ago? 88 years ago. 88 years ago. Well, I'll be 88 born when 88. you play gotcha, the state. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not dumb as I am. Yeah. I'll take this hat off now so okay. they can see I still got some hair on yeah, my you head. You sure do. A good, good advertisement for... Well, uh, you want to know something? How then I go, it ain't folks what you got on top of your head that counts. It's what's in your heart and mind. Now, how I met Lois Bootson, the Hoosier from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yeah. I was going in the gym there. It was Woman's Day and... And Walt Baptiste said, don't worry, girls, he's harmless. He would just, he'd give you, I was selling fruit, giving fruit away, uh -huh. and he liked me very much. And a woman, Phyllis Mapes was her name then, uh -huh. Phyllis Blumkrum, said, you should meet my sister. She's studying psychiatry, <laughs> and she'd get a kick out of you. And said, well, first, you better stop in my apartment and take a bath. I slept <laughs> in the park. I said, okay. Yeah. And I know what she told her sister. Yeah. So I went up and played the role to a hilt. Yeah. I went up. Knob Hill, 12 at night. There comes Lois with a long, beautiful hair with a nightgown on. And I said, hiya, Lois. Ran to open the window, and I said, Figaro, <laughs> Figaro, woke up everybody. Yeah. I said, my God, she said. She said, you know, she said, I, 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 can't I meet you in a beach somewhere? <laughs> I better be thrown out of my apartment. You got too much power. Uh -huh. So anyhow, I kept talking to her, and she, uh, she said, I, most women came to me because I was very different. And the same have, have left me because I was too different. But Lois did not leave me. We're separated, but not spiritually. Uh -huh. I love her, and I told her in a party a year ago, I said, Lois Bootson, you were a great wife. You were a great mother. You were a great friend. Everybody loves you. You helped me a lot. And she said, you know what? I wish I could say the same about you, Gypsy. She was only kidding me. <laughs> she was only kidding me. <laughs> and, but Lois Bootson, 
and she raised a, and she was a, they went to school with Geraldine Page in New York. Is that right? And my whole family got talent. I attract a lot of serious people in my life. Yeah, you're an attractive guy. Um, tell me a little about your education. Well, I went to the school of life. And mm -hmm. uh, I went to school, and what you learn under a tree, you don't learn into a building. Mm -hmm. And what you learn in a building, you don't learn on the ground. <laughs> and I got to school, I used to sing and dance, and my mother never went to school in Russia. She, she didn't even know what a report card was. Yeah. And the woman said, Gypsy, you got the worst report card in school. Take a look. I can tell your mother you played hooky. She never went to school. So they went up to see Mother Mushka, your son Robert. He got a lot of hair, he got a lot of energy, but take a look. The report card, it's all red. She said, what's the difference? Red, white, blue. <laughs> He's got a good mind. Uh -huh. And the teacher said, too bad. He's got a good mind. Too bad he didn't go to school. And my mother said this, that's why he's got a good mind. Too much up there, you get mentally constipated. <laughs> so I never, here I am. I didn't go to school. I got no trade. I helped bring up three children. I scrubbed toilets, bailed hay, pitched hay. My first job was Sonoma Cheese Factory. I rolled wheels of cheese, and I made it. I never gave up. And a lot of people said to me, when all the uh, San Francisco beach, yeah, sure, you got to learn just to throw the football 60 yards. We're maximum out on the beach and everything. And they said, yeah, wait till you're 21. Wait till you're 25. Wait till you get married. Wait till you get children. All those guys are gone and they're still waiting. <laughs> and you know, would you ask me, Gypsy? I know you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. How long are you gonna. Would you say that? You're going? What Gypsy. you got to bat me back there? You first say you're going, you're going. Gypsy, you're, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. What do you got? A battery back there? You ask me that. <laughs> what do you got? A battery back there? Good. Yeah, I got something better than a battery. Mark? Chaotic power. Take that. Chaotic. Smoke that. I mean, <laughs> that's not that's that. your garlic pills. Yeah, I like you during the good. You ask me a lot of great questions. Anything you want. Uh, well, uh, we got a few yeah. minutes, a very few minutes left. You were going to say something about you. Yeah, I wanted to hear something. I just kind of an adult program. Uh, tell me a little about your sex life. Well, I'll be serious about that. Yeah. I don't think Dr. Ruth. Uh, I think she's making too much of a big issue of a little tissue, Dr. Ruth. <laughs> Because if you love somebody, you know what to do. And if you love somebody, you still don't know what to do. Look at how many, you don't know people till you live with them. But I say this, sex was meant to bear children. And the rest is a toy department. Uh -huh. And I've been celibate for eight years, and I still got energy. And if, and if sex was the main answer, I see people, and they did it, they did it, and they got a lot of problems later on. If you're really happy and you really enjoy life, like I'm doing, and you, I got energy, and I, when I said Gypsy, but what are you doing to get the urge? I, I get the urge. I use that energy to throw the football. I still throw the football. Ask Engineer Dan and Pancake Jack who got the football. I still throw hard at Joe Montana, even though I had an injury here and hit my stomach. Uh -huh. Hit it a few times. Come on. Right? There you go. Come on. 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 Eat your heart out at Joel Montana and Jack O'Lane. But then, yeah, you Man, are so lot. great. Man, really, that's good. You're, you're, throw, you're throwing me a lot of... What's your final last words? You're throwing me a lot of... A lot of curves here. Um, which you, I guess, you, what's your last words about the show? Because it's just about over. We're going to run. I, I, we're going to run that footage of you running around with a torch ten years ago. At, uh, all right. What, what is I, that from? I, well, I'm going to show that. But my last words are yeah. before the torch. My last words are: Don't panic. Go organic. Take more kyolic and vitamin C. Do your exercise. Love life. Love your wife. Love your world. Love yourself. And eat more vegetables and fruits. And keep in cahoots <laughs> with gypsy boots. <laughs> I'm going to put the crown back in. I think that looks very, very becoming. What, um, what about this footage that we're going to show at the end? Where, where was this taken 10 years ago, the 1988 stuff? In 1988, they had a, a Raider. A, no, Raiders are playing the Rams, a booster club deal. Uh -huh. they, were, they weren't tackling. And they, since I used to do the marathon, they opened up and they said, Gypsy, you can carry the torch. And there I am running around the whole stadium with the torch before they had this football game. You'll see it right now. Okay. You know, like the Olympic torch. 
uh, okay. Uh, you know, the products you make, uh, we can't name stores particularly, yeah. but you're involved in the manufacture of Kyolic and Ester C yeah. vitamin, and you take them as well as eat. I mean, you don't just take pills. No, I, mean, I take I take three a day. Yeah. I don't sleep a lot of hours because I got too many little thoughts in my mind. I take three or four a day. I take Kyrie Green, yeah. and I take that, and I drink a lot of water, eat a lot of organic food, have salad. Where do I get my protein on? I have beans. I take a little kashi. That's good. Yeah. And then I have... It's too much to eat. I got a lot of energy. Is there stuff? Is everything raw? I mean, the beans are. Uh, no, you cook, you, you cook you know, some I of the stuff. I eat something cooked. Yeah. Last year, you know. I know you. you, you, you uh, and I have some nuts and sesame nuts and mm -hmm. that. And the main thing is, and then the attitude. Mm -hmm. The attitude is good. I asked my friend Phil Daly. He's a wealthy, wealthy real estate guy. And I said, I want to ask you, Phil Daly, do you think now you're really financial, you're well, well to do, and I'm just getting by. I'm mm -hmm. the richest man in the world. Mm -hmm. I'm living. And he said, Gypsy, you're just as rich as me, spiritually. Mm -hmm. It ain't how much money you got in the bank, it's how much love you got and how much love you got for the world and life. And I want to thank you, Art Fine. I think it was beautiful. I love the show. I appreciate it. Well, you've certainly done I had a lifetime of uh, promoting good, good things to and people. And if anybody wants to phone me, can I get my phone number out? Sure. Call me anytime after 8.30 at night and leave your number. I'll answer any question you want about health. It's 805-484-9804. 805-484-9804. After 8.30 at night, and I got a lot of answers. And don't have to do what I do. You do what you want. And I don't advocate anybody to do what I'm telling you. But I think, yeah, if not, you don't not. think I'm a good example, forget it. Because yeah. That's it. And I want to thank everybody who okay. helped me in this party, and and Micah Douglas, and everybody, and Carrie White, and I love all of you. And you were beautiful. Thanks very much. We're going to run the footage, and I'm just going to keep talking to you the while. Japanese then it's the going to go. Yeah. We didn't get the other. Yeah. We didn't get that guy in this time. Um, I was going to say, is you're from New York originally, right? That's where you. No, I'm not from New York. My friend Gary Lippman's from New York. He met me 40 years ago. I said, Gypsy, you haven't changed. Mm -hmm. But where are you from? San Francisco. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. San Francisco, something Golden Gate Park, San Francisco. I left my heart in San Francisco. It was like this. I left my nuts and fruits in Vacaville and Sonoma County. I'm, I'm,